Hey everybody, it's Joy with JoyousLife.com. Welcome to this episode of 52. Today I thought we'd do something super fun and make these cute little books for Halloween. Take a look at this cute little Dracula book. Do you love it? Look at that. It even has little tiny pages inside. They're hard to see, but they're there. And then there's the back. I made this by printing out a picture of the book Dracula. It's one of the books that I own and I really like it. My other favorite is Frankenstein. Here's one that I printed. So if you have a book that you like, go ahead and make a copy of the cover, or if you can find a photo of it, print it out. That's all I did. I just printed this out on white cardstock, and then I cut it out, and then I made a little book out of it. And then I stuck it in my melting pot with some, oh, I'm holding it, with some UT, Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel, or UT, as I sometimes say it. Um, this stuff is so cool. It coated my book to make it usable for a bracelet or a necklace or you know even a card or scrapbook page whatever you want to do see that thickness pretty cool pretty cool well this is so much fun and so simple let me show you how to do it well I made the Dracula book earlier so now we'll make the Frankenstein book you're just gonna cut out your cover okay so there's the cover so cute now all you have to do is make the little book that's easy all I'm doing is using some paper that I had on hand um, these are just some of my scraps. In the one that I did for Dracula, I used this kind of denim looking paper. It's black, like a black denim. Looks like a material. Um, at first I thought I would want to use that, but I just didn't. For the inside of my book, I have some printed paper that looks like newspaper print. That's really neat. Um, you don't have to have this because it's hard to even see the little pages inside the book after it dries you can see a little like I can see just you probably can't but I can see just a few of the printed words in the book which is really neat so if you're a stickler for particulars like that then you might want to print some paper out like this or you know find some if you have some in your stash if not don't worry about it it's not a big deal just use white paper or whatever this is just some leftover from you know what I cut off when I cut this out okay so let's build our book there is no tried and true, must do it this way, way to do this. Where am I thing go? Oh, here we are. All I did when I first did the Dracula one is decide how big I wanted my pages. And I actually had them bigger than I wanted. And then I just bent it over. And then I cut it down to the size I liked. So my book was way too big to start because it was like that. And I thought, me. That would be a gigantic necklace for me, so I don't really want that. But that's okay. Again, just cut it down like you like it. So, I'll go ahead and cut that piece out. And I'm not going to worry about it being perfect yet, because I'm going to cut it down. Okay, now all I'm going to do is use my ATG and move this stuff out of the way. Move stuff. Okay. And then just tape this on. Let me zoom in. I think I'm so far away. Okay, zoom in so you can watch me tape. How exciting. Okay, so I'm just putting a little tape on here. Oh, I didn't even need to put that much. It, you don't need a ton because the UD is going to hold it in place anyway. So I'm just going to line this up to about where I want to trim it. Okay, now look. I know that's, that's all wonky and crazy. Don't worry about that. Just cut it down. And then... Good enough. And then we're going to dump it in the melting pot. A paper trimmer is a crafter's best friend. However, our first friend was a pair of scissors, which I'm going to use today. <laughs> so paper trimming would make this a little faster. I mean a paper trimmer. Let's see how my pages look. They're a little long still. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to start folding. Oop, well, I better figure out how long I want them to be before I start folding. Okay, I'll scoot that down just a touch and then bend it. That lets me know where I want my page to bend. Um, this is just for the pages that are going inside the book. Now, you don't need to make them perfect, um, mainly because old books weren't always bound perfectly. All the pages weren't always the perfect same size. Just don't worry about it. It's fun. Make it fun. Just have a good time with it. Make whatever you want to make. So there we are. A tiny little book with tiny little pages. So cute. 
Now we're going to bind it the easiest way ever by dumping it into a pot of ultra thick embossing enamel. Woo! All right. Well, I'm going to glue um, these pages together too because I don't want anything to fall out. Once again, move page. Just using the ATG gun and sticking the pages in there. I like this little project. I think it's so cute and so much fun. You could do Christmas and any other kind of holiday that you've got or you know what do some of the books and things like your scrapbooks that you've already made for your family take a picture of the outside if you've got it decorated or some of the inside pictures and then just shrink them down that would be so cool because then you could use it on a keychain or you know clip it to your purse or whatever you wanted to do it's just cute if you put a magnet on the back it's an adorable magnet don't you think I want to do that I think I'm gonna stick a magnet right on the back of this one I totally am. I don't know why I was thinking I'm making a necklace. I don't know how long I'd have to wear it. A short amount of time. Because Halloween is only so far away. Right? Okay. Well, let me heat up the pot. I just need to turn it on. And we're going to dump this stuff in there. You know what? I'm going to heat the pot up first. That way it won't turn amber right away. Because that's the color that the UD turns. If you let it sit a long time, it goes kind of amber. So, I'll heat up the pot first. Bloop. Remember, turn it to the UD. And put the lid on, but first I'll need to plug it in. Okay, look, while I waited, I made myself another little Frankenstein book. Now I can have one on a card, and I'm going to make the other one a magnet, just like I'm going to do the Dracula one. All right, well, now we're going to pour this in. It's just super simple. Dump it in, right? Love that. And just pour as much as you think you're going to need today for however many things you're going to do. You're going to need a decent amount to really coat this. Look how it's melting. Isn't that cool? I just love this stuff. But uh, you don't have to pour the whole bottle in. It's just really up to you. Because you're going to have to flip it over and cover the other side. You need to put enough in there to coat it. Um, usually the melting pot, I believe, always comes with this. But I had a problem. Um, I didn't know how to pick up my book and flip it over and get it back in there. There may be another tool, but I just used a pair of my tweezers. And... Um, these, I think I have a couple pair. These I kind of sacrificed for different uses. But I was able to clean the UD off of it after it was dry. It was real simple. So you see they're pretty clean now. And I have some white stuff on there. Oh, that's silver. It's some kind of pen that I have on there that won't come off. But as far as the rest of this stuff, it's really simple. After it heats up, you're going to dump the book in there. And then I used my tweezers just to turn it over so I could do both sides. Alright, I'm going to put the cover on and let it heat for a minute. Okay, time for the big reveal. Ta-da! Melted beauty. And I've got this on a heat mat. Uh, it's heat resistant and all that kind of stuff. Use something like that. You don't need to sit this pot on a regular table or something. It needs to be on a, on a mat. Especially because when we finish with this, we're going to just drop it right onto the mat. You would never want to do that with a regular table. Okay, so now we're just going to drop this right in. Let's see. And let it kind of sink down in there. And yesterday when I did it, I got a bunch of bubbles and things coming up. I wondered if it had to do with the air escaping from those pages I had inside. See, there's a bubble. Let me zoom in. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Alright, but you know what? We're not going to pay too much more attention to the bubbling. If you're using tweezers like this, try not to scratch your melting pot. So... It's a careful precision thing. The only thing precision in this whole project is being careful with uh, using the, the wrong tool inside the melting pot. But I don't know what the right tool is. If they make some of these that are Teflon coated or something, that would be awesome. I just don't know that they have those. Okay, we can decide if we want to take our little book out now. Now poke at it a little bit. Make sure I have all those pages inside coated. Are covered with this stuff. Now one thing that's really cool about this is if you take it out and you've got like a big bunch of that uh, well UD stuck to it and you don't like it don't worry just pick it back up and then hold it against the heat thing inside your melting pot and it'll melt away those little pieces that are extra or you can cut them off too but if you have a really bad looking spot it's okay just heat it up again. I speak from experience. <laughs> I had to hold my Dracula book down in there because I had 
um, on the side here I had a huge like bumpy piece and I just took it by hand and just held it down into the well where the UD wasn't and worked out great okay I'm gonna take this out now okay taking it out and then I'm just gonna plop it down I wish that cord was out of the way just gonna plop it down there okay I made another book remember or did I show you I think I did so I'm just gonna drop that one in there and go through the same process in the meantime what we're doing is waiting for this one to dry all right well they're all cooled off now and look I already peeled this one up a second ago and you see what I was talking about about how the UD can stick to the sides so we will just either cut that off or heat it off this one I haven't picked up yet and it doesn't have as much stuck to it but you see the back if you don't like that and it comes out that way don't worry about it just lay it back down in your melting pot all right I do want to melt off this big hunk that I've got now we can either cut it off or melt it off I think just to show you I'll cut it off and we'll look at how it looks after you do that this one's had oh you know what that that looked pretty good that doesn't look that bad but there's still a lot of edges sometimes it makes a white place where it's sort of pinched and hey don't forget if you have that that's my little extra UD have an extra little piece just dump it in there okay now see how it's starting to turn yellow I'll tell you why mine is starting to turn yellow because I had to leave the camera for a long time and I left everything on uh, my son ran into the room at the last minute telling me he needs a book for school today so um, I had to get it on the Kindle for him real quick yep then the dog needed something it's just one thing after another so I handled that but while I did I left this pot on worried about it the whole time of course because you shouldn't leave things on and leave the room but it turned out thank goodness okay so there's that you see how I just melted it off it looks really good um, look at that I don't think that the back has quite enough coverage now what I can do is just dump it in there again let's do that plop no big deal so just work with these things until they're like you like them one thing I will tell you though and this is kind of funny um, last night my book looked perfect I thought that Dracula just turned out great it had like one tiny speck on it and I thought well I'll just melt that off or whatever oh my gosh then it became a whole thing I made it awful on the front it was all weird I had big honks on it and I had to keep working with it so look if it is good enough please stop because you're gonna drive yourself crazy like I did okay here's something really fun when you're finished with your melting pot just pour all the UD out just like that right onto your mat Now remember I'm using that mat a little Teflon mat so pour it all out like that and then once it dries you can just put it away in a plastic bag or something and then you can melt it again in the future this is one of those rare products that you can actually buy and use over and over again I love that see there it is all dry moving around and now I can just put it into a little baggie I hope you liked all these little books and have some great ideas for making your own this would be cute in a dollhouse too you make them really small oh so cute there's so many ideas all right you guys have a great week and come and see me again for another episode of 52 and meet me at joyslife.com for more fun and crafty ideas see you later